the truth about greed, the hidden problems that come from it, in my Manny Lowe original channel, short YouTube testimony. When we think about greed, we automatically associate the term with people who are rich and have a lot of money. However, the truth is, being greedy does not just apply to the rich and wealthy, it also can apply to everyone else. Even if we do not realize it, greed can slip into our lives in many ways, which will cause us to be ungrateful for the things we have. You do not have to be rich to want all the attention from others, all the love from your family members, all the praise from those looking at your accomplishments. To be greedy, in my opinion, means that you wanted much more than what you need. Also, being a greedy person does not lead to anything good. In the Bible, it says, No one can serve two masters. Either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. Even though it is true that greed can go beyond what most people normally think, money is and will always be one of the easiest examples to use because we all need it to survive comfortably. I'll use my first channel as an example for this. When I started up my original Manny Low channel, all I did was post anime clips for fun because everybody else already doing this didn't do it the right way. Their audio was messed up, I had to watch the clips in a small box, or the visuals were mirrored slash altered. I wanted to figure out a way to make the videos full screen with no audio issues and did not change the visual effects. I've always been excellent at solving puzzles, and this was just another one for me to decipher. I figured it out and began posting what I thought people wanted to see. I started getting very big and I hit my first million views in 2017. Crazy enough, I was getting paid as well. God was truly blessing me by this success, but his true purpose was so much deeper than what I could see on the surface during the time. God knows I'm a good person, and because of this, there were many things that I had to learn. What I'm about to tell you guys is going to be a lesson in trusting in God, not being naive, and not being greedy. So to be clear, this channel I'm talking about is not the channel that you guys are watching right now. This channel has its own story as well for another video. Now, my old channel had 73,000 subscribers. I had never thought such a thing would happen for me, and it was happening very fast. People wanted to make business deals with me, and this is where the naivety came in. I knew better than to trust people online, but like I said, I was still naive during the time. A person wrote me saying they could double my profits, views, etc if I gave them access to branding on the channel. The Holy Spirit warned me and told me, why would you need to do that when you're already booming on your own? This is where greed kicked in. I accepted the person's deal and I allowed him to be able to brand on my account. Due to this, the person somehow hacked my channel and stole my entire account through YouTube's own branding system. When this happened, I was in distraught. I didn't know what to do. The person completely stole the channel. There was no proof that I even owned it anymore. He somehow even stole the IP address of the account for when I uploaded videos. I had another account that was linked to the original, but it didn't help in my case. I emailed YouTube about the issue and they said you have no connection to the other account. During the weeks, this person controlled my YouTube channel, he deleted everything and started to change the name and polluted the channel with things that could get it terminated. YouTube saw a huge dip in the account's views, profits, etc. and got interested in my claim since I was spamming them and their forum. The only thing that I had that could connect me to my original channel was my Google Assets. They were able to use that to track back the payments and they realized that I was the true owner. After a week, they gave me back the account, but the damage had already been done. I explained to them 
that the person who hacked my account was the one that messed it up. But at this point, they felt they did their good deed, so they didn't care anymore and eventually shut down my account. In this situation, I want you guys to understand something very important. When I had first lost my account, I didn't know how to feel. It was my fault in the first place for trusting someone online and it was done in a way that is so rare that I couldn't believe that it was happening to me. Though, while I was going through this issue, I had prayed to God to give me peace and he told me not to worry. Because I trusted in him, I got the account back. That in itself is a blessing because these YouTube people didn't want to even help me at all. And I found out that this person who stole my account was a professional who had been doing this to many other channels and getting away with it. Mine was the last. That's crazy. Even though they still terminated my channel, even after giving it back, I didn't worry about it at all and realized it must be a part of God's plan. I reflected on the issue to see what I needed to learn and I discovered that I needed to trust in God better and not trust in my own ability to try and make things happen that I think is good. Funny thing is, this life lesson is not over yet and God still had much to teach me. During this period of time after the situation, one of my college friends asked me to give him some money for something and he would pay me back. I gave him the money and later he paid me back, but I asked him what was he doing with it. He told me he had invested into Bitcoin. I didn't realize my true mindset at the time, but now I see that I still had a greedy nature in me that God had to root out. I asked my friend to invest some money for me into it as well and he agreed hesitantly and the increments or amount that he asked for was between $100 to $400 each time. The next week he asked for more money. The week after that he asked for more money. After he would gotten about $1000 plus out of me I asked him how was it looking. He did not show me any numbers but he just told me to trust him. After a few months, the money I was giving him started to pile up and I was not being shown anything. He told me that my payout would be in another month, but when that month came, he didn't pay. This was done three times, all the way up to my birthday. He told me on my birthday there would be no excuses and he would pay up. By that time, he had over $10,000 of the money I gave him to invest. When he and the rest of my other friends showed up to my birthday dinner, we ate, talked, and left. He still did not pay, and he didn't even offer to pay for my birthday meal. And to top it off, he had a brand new Rolex that he never could afford before that cost over $10,000 on his wrist. So at this point, I'd already let my family know about this ordeal a long time ago. And when it came to the law side of things, if you invest money and the person didn't actually do that with the money, they can go to jail for larceny and theft. Before I got the money back, and plus, I understood the message that God was trying to show me. Once again, I tried to make a lot of money, even if it wasn't in a bad way, for my own decisions based off of greed and not trusting in what God wanted me to do. I told my old friend that I realized I'd sinned because I was trying to be greedy and God has shown me this. I also chose to forgive him. I then warned him that he needed to also repent as well for doing what he did and never do it again because we both were given a huge break from God. I got the money back and he didn't go to jail. Once I got the money back though, I didn't even want it. I gave it all to my mom so she could pay for bills since she needed help. Due to the genuine repentance of my actions, God in turn told my mother to put a down payment for me on my first car. I had my license since I was 16, but I had never had the money to get a car. I was 22, so this was last year, 
and I finally had my first car that was an LT Camaro 2018. Funny enough, she said when I was a kid and watched Transformers, this was the car that I'd always wanted. I was just happy to finally have a car. But ultimately, God already put it in me not to worry about the things of this world, but to be grateful for everything. So guys, I just want you to know that you must trust in God, the good, and not the evil things that come from the devil. Greed is a terrible thing. All sins lead to death, no matter how small. Through repentance and forgiveness, God bless me tenfold afterwards. And this is a part of my testimony for you all.